Hello everyone. Welcome to the news analysis of Assam Tribune, 17 July 2019. As we can see that the flood is uh, continuous, the rain is still continuing and, uh, in the state and the death toll uh, amounts to 17. And it has affected 44 lakh people in 32 districts. There are 33 districts in Assam and out of them, out of those 32 districts are underwater. There is a very sad picture of this Kajiranga National Park and it is the rhinos who are uh, you know, running for their life to Karbianglong Hills and uh, three rhinos have uh, killed, uh, actually dead yesterday, uh, found dead yesterday because of this uh, water logging and um, they fell into some tunnel or something. So it is a very hard time for Kajiranga National Park animals and they are suffering a lot because of these floods and it's not uh, this year actually. This year it's been uh, in a very worst condition ever but this is like every year it happens okay and uh, till now 17 people have died because of flood and uh, this landslide because of the rains only and these are the list of the places from where the people have died the 17 people have died 226 relief camps are there and uh, 32 districts are in effect in which in this 220, uh, 226 relief camps 101085 inmates are there and this is covering almost um, 4,620 villages of 124 revenue circles. There's a word used that is inundated. That means overwhelming. Or uh, here it is word. Uh, this word is used as uh, overwhelming with water or overloaded with water. So now government uh, is trying to find a solution, permanent solution for the uh, for the flood problem. Union Jal Shakti, Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shikhawat told this. This, uh, this problem of flood in Assam is a very old problem. Uh, it is around 60 to 56 to 50 to 60 years old problem. And so far, central government have uh, released 251 crore for the first installment under SDRF fund. Okay. And uh, Shikhawat said that uh, <coughs> the. Shikawat said that uh, he is uh, satisfied with the rescue and relief work done by NDR of, uh, of state government, under state government. And I don't understand why uh, why this statement is given because uh, only 226 relief camps is not enough to handle 44 lakh people in 32 districts of a state. I don't understand this this part, but still, it's a state. To tackle the flood situation uh, as a permanent solution, uh, a hydrographic survey is, uh, you know, <coughs> to be done by the experts of uh, Central Central Dima team will be there. Uh, who will see that if uh, if dredging can be done in the river basin of Brahmaputra or some other situation can be uh, done. The issue of flood was uh, reported in 1951 and it is aggravating since then. And uh, there is an issue of siltation also. Siltation means uh, it is the issue of soil erosion they are uh, pointing on. There is a word used that is uh, cognizance. Okay. Cognizance. This cognizant word means awareness or knowledge on a topic. Now we can see that there is a huge demand of uh, a national problem tag to be given to the uh, floods in Assam and uh, floods and erosion. So government of India, according to ASU, uh, have already uh, you know uh, declared national pro uh, declared flood and erosion as national uh, problem on May 7, 2005. And now uh, after after that, a lot of advertisements were also published regarding this, uh, saying that 57 years old demand of the people to uh, recognize Assam flood and erosion uh, to be declared as national problem has been uh, recently announced by you know center uh, in the parliament but now the center in the parliament is uh, saying that there is no provision to make this uh, flood as a uh, national issue so it is like uh, two faced uh, two faces of government uh, that is accused by the asu so that's the update for flood in the state uh, stay tuned for more thank you